What's up YouTube, it's Ice Pitch here and this is the Nexus 3 review website. So today I went to the RFX website right here and I saw this. So that's a Nexus 3 being released on the 29th of 2009 and I scroll down a bit to see basic stuff so that when you press on Nexus it's gonna show you this. So it's a new Nexus right here. It have new library, new aggregator, effects and so on. But the best thing here is if you have Nexus 2 then you have already know what is this. That is the USB licensor key that you have to put into your computer in order to open Nexus 2. Now the Nexus 3 does not have this anymore, so you're completely free. They offer something called Airfax Cloud. You have here Nexus plugins, which is already installed. It's one click, you press install and it's instantly there. Then you have Nexus expansions. You can just scroll through them and download every single one that you bought and you can update. So the update is about 100 euros or dollars, something like that, to, to go from the Nexus 2 to Nexus um, 3. Otherwise, it will cost you around, I don't know, 100 dollars or 20, 250 dollars or um, expansions you can upgrade if you have older ones. So after I did that, I downloaded the cloud, installed instantly, paid for it. Um, update some of this. I don't use it that much of other things, but I install the ones that I think are the most. But let's go into the Fruity Loop. So after installation, I just went to Options, Spanish Plugins. I pressed on Find Plugins and that's pretty much it. It's actually search the plugins for me. And if you go down, we can type Nexus. I press this star right here to um, lock it up and here we go. So, would you like to see? Let me just disable the fruit limiter and I'm gonna right click, go replace and here's instrument mix. So that's the Nexus right now. It's completely different. But let's go one by one. First is the new browser. Before you have factory presets in every single group. Right now it just combines into the one folder called factory preset that have all organized. So you'd like to use a violins or basic strings, so you press it and that's it. Okay, but here you can actually even see these. These are the moods. You can press dark, let's go to all. Each one have different colors. These are these. Let's say I want to have bright music. You press some bright button, it's gonna show you only instruments that are in the category of bright, which is kinda cool if you ask. Otherwise, you have different here, so on. The best thing right now is that when you click it, it's gonna already show you the sound. And that's it, you can use the keyboard keys up and down. If you are already, you press enter and it's gonna choose it for you. Since right now, extremely impressive. You no longer need to go into the keyboard and try each instrument. When you press it, the sound is there. So as you can see on the left side, you have these delays and filters and so on. Um, right now we have here Librarian. Let's go. You can actually um, see and you can rename the plugin. I mean the name of this sound if you'd like to. Let's go to aggregator, I'm just going to press enter to give it. So right now you have literally a MIDI configuration for aggregator. So let me choose some sound that is, let's say leads, let's go to, that seems okay. So we're going to open aggregator and now we're going to just move this up and let's see if we go to, you see? It's actually, you can use MIDI keep, I mean MIDI some sort of um, visual to show this. It's extremely impressive. So you can open it up and then, then you have this one. This is the transfer gate. It's simple as, I mean, you just have to experiment. You have even presets for every single one. You have modulation, um, pretty much same as before, just different, um, different way to get to there. You have max, pitch, band and so on, speed and so on, uh, molded matrix. Let's go to the fix. So on the side, you have this, I'm gonna just all disable. Right now you can open the fix here or just open these buttons. Let's say filter and then you just, um, let's put it down, down. You see, basically each individual, you can open it up and keep it here. 
because that's actually good for logic. Um, I mean for Airflow Studio, just go to our last tweaked um, create automation clip okay. Anyway, um, you can unlay, enable or disable each individual and so on, and it's gonna all be combined here. Then we have even the feature of this if you want some advanced things and so on to combine here, and the system, which I'm not sure exactly how to explain this, but yeah, that's kind of um, it. That that's the Nexus free if it is worked well. I think just because of this USB sensor key, when you have a laptop and you have two USB ports, one it's gonna go for this USB sensor key. Right now, you just go here and you can simply um, you can simply just. Um, authorized computer and that's it no more sensor key you are completely free to go on your laptop you can have up to two computers installed the Nexus 3 otherwise what I like the most it's obviously you have a factory presets or organized basis brass um, no longer you don't need to longer um, to move from one to one to search um, from one folder to second folder to search for bus or even here all you can still have all organized I mean, before you have to go to AMD3, go to Basis and check it out, go to MD5, go to Basis, check this out. Right now you go to all Basis and you don't even need to go to any other folders. That's like, it's godlike. Otherwise, what I like the most is they change the style. It's completely new, no more lagging. And the last one, of course, no more USB sensor. Otherwise, it have same as before, reverb, animation mode, filter mode, delay, and filter just I mean, it's different to give you these ideas how to use it. Does it work perfectly? Let's just taste it out. I'm gonna go to lit. Let's me one click to listen. Double click or enter. Let's go here. Right click, piano. Let's see if that's gonna be. Let's zoom out a bit. So that's just a test version to see if it's work perfectly. Let's do some house style. Yeah, it's basically it's just simple as that, no likes, nothing especially. It even shows with these um, specific things, however, that you don't even have before. Okay, so output right now we can go a bit higher. Right now the center of output is 64. It will go up to 1620, I mean 1616. Um, That's it guys, um, hopefully you like it. I like it a lot. I just bought it like one hour ago and I thought that see this is going to be a review. So my name is Antwipic and see you next time. Goodbye.